This is going to be a video showing some of the Outlook integration features that OneNote has with Outlook. And these features work with Outlook 2003 and Outlook 2007. And OneNote 2007 was designed to work very well with the Outlook program. And we have task integration with Outlook, we have meeting notes integration, we have contact integration, and we have email integration. So there's a lot of great email uh, and calendaring and task features integrated with OneNote 2007. Now I'm in the OneNote guide, and for those of you who like to actually read along, there's a little work with Outlook page in the OneNote guide, page 7. And we show all this information visually described. I'm going to be doing a video today to show you exactly how to do that. So, I want to create a, we're going to go into Outlook, and the first thing is, is we have a meeting that we want to go to. So the scenario is I've got a meeting and I want to take some notes about it. So I go into Outlook, go into my calendar, and this is Outlook 2007, I'm going to open up a meeting. Here's a meeting, it's been sent to a couple people, subject, location, there's a couple of attachments here. I go up here to the meeting notes button in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a purple OneNote icon with a little link on it, and it says OneNote. I click this button, watch what happens, it automatically creates a new page in OneNote with the subject, the date and location, the attendees, the message, even the attachments are automatically put in here. There's a link back to the Outlook item, so if I click this link, it'll automatically open the item back up, and vice versa, now that I've created this link, if I ever click the meeting notes button again, let's say it's two weeks later, I reopen my meeting for my calendar, and I click this button, watch what happens. It'll take me right automatically to my page in OneNote, if OneNote's closed, it'll boot me automatically to the right page, so I've got a nice two-way link back and forth to that same meeting item that I initially sent here. So now I'm ready to take notes. So I take some notes at the meeting. Interesting point. Now here I need to follow up with Bob. Now this might be actually a task that I want to make into Outlook. So what I do is I go up here to the task button, and note, I drop it down, there's all these Outlook task choices, and this works with Outlook 2003 or Outlook 2007. And I'm going to choose, I want this task to be for today. So I click it, and notice it makes a little flag right next to follow up with Bob, and it's for today. And what happens now, when I go into Outlook, I switch back and I go to my inbox, or go to my mail folder, and automatically what happens is, that task will be created inside of my task list. And so what that allows me to do, sometimes it takes a second for it to sync right into Outlook, so hold on one moment. There it is. So follow up with Bob. Now I open up that task, it's automatically created. And it's set for today. There's a shortcut back to that task. So if I wonder, hey, where did I take that task? I don't remember. I automatically have a shortcut back to OneNote to get to that. And if I double click this shortcut, it'll launch OneNote right to that page of notes. Now what's nice is, is because there's a two-way sync between Outlook and OneNote, if I click this to say, mark it as complete, so I just click it and say, mark, go away, automatically back in OneNote, that task will automatically check off. So there's that nice two sync. If I check it off in OneNote, it'll make it disappear in Outlook. If I check it off in Outlook, it'll check it off in OneNote. So now I've taken more notes. Now maybe I had, maybe these were tags. This is a tag that was important. Here's another task. Book room. So this is something maybe I want to book a conference room for next week. Another task. Again, I drop the task down. I say set it for next week. So you can say this one is a different color of flag and that's set for next week. And for this one, I want it to start Monday, August 18th and end Friday. So this is a week-long task. And again, it's automatically set correctly in Outlook. So when I switch back over to Outlook, it can automatically set at that time. So here we go back in Outlook. Here's another task, and look at that, automatically, here's another task, book room, the start date is set for next week, and if I've got a nice little shortcut, if I say, hey, where 
was that piece of notes taken. Watch, I double click this little shortcut and it'll open up OneNote. It'll take me right to that page of notes where I initially took that task at. So there it is, it opens my notes. Look at that, it automatically highlights where did that task come from. So that's a really nice way to keep in context of what you were doing. So that's the meeting notes scenario with the task integration. Now another common scenario is, is people a lot of times like to send emails into OneNote. So let's say I had some email. Here's an email right here. I'll open it up. It has a couple attachments to it. Uh, PDF file and Excel file. I just go up here to send to OneNote. Watch what happens. I click that button. Boom. Sends it right into OneNote. Here's the whole email. Has the attachments right here. All set to go. If I go back here. Maybe I've got two emails and I want to send them both into OneNote. If I highlight both mails here, there's a button right here on the toolbar in Outlook that says send selected email to OneNote. So I click that button and watch what happens. It creates two pages. Boom, boom. So it'll automatically send both pages into OneNote. And as you can see, it has the page with a picture and it also has the other page that I had. So both pages are automatically sent right into OneNote. So that's a great way to just send interesting emails. Sometimes you might be working on a particular project and there's a very interesting email thread that has a lot of relevance to the project. Just send it right into OneNote. Another feature we have is the contacts. So maybe I have a contact and I want to send that right into OneNote. Uh, maybe I'll find a, let's have a business contact. So maybe I have the Bark King Blower Truck Service and I have an address, a phone number, email, website. Again, I go over here to the upper right hand corner and I click the send to OneNote button and it automatically creates this contact page right in OneNote. It's contact, phone, email, all my notes. So if I'm always taking notes about a particular contact, here they are. And I got a link back to that Outlook item. So if I click the link, it opens up the contact. Let's say that I'm in OneNote, I'm in some different part of my notebook, you know, a totally different day, and I come back and I say, hey, where were those notes that I took about the Bark King block, uh, blower truck service? I open up my contact, and since I already took those notes and they're linked, watch what happens. I click that button, and now it'll automatically take me right to that page in OneNote. So it navigates me to that page, it'll boot OneNote if OneNote is closed, and now I'm all ready to add more notes to my contact page. The last feature I'm going to show you is how to send notes to people. So sending notes to others. Let's say that I have a bunch of notes right here and even if people don't have OneNote it doesn't matter because we do it in HTML. I go and I click this, there's a little email envelope. So you notice a little envelope right here. If I click that, we'll drop down the email frame and I can address it to whoever I want and it's going to send this page will come through as an HTML message and will also attach an attachment of a OneNote file. So if they have OneNote, they can drag the notes into their own notebook. But if they don't have OneNote, that's fine. It's just HTML. So I just hit send a copy and we will send that right out through Outlook and it's an email message that is received in HTML. So that's an overview of the sets of email features that we have, or I'm sorry, the Outlook integration features we have with OneNote and that is tasks, meetings, contacts, and email.